Welcome to Pet Picks Academy Show. I'm very excited for your friends because this is one of a kind show. Expect to meet amazing pet influencers who are going to share with us their story to success. Also, pet clothing designers and pet experts. My name is Vansi. I'm a professional pet photographer and your host, and I'm going to be sharing with you in our show a lot of very valuable tips and tricks on how you can improve your pictures with your phone, the editing apps and strategy, lighting, also how you can grow your social media and so much more. We are also very proud to say, yay, Pet Picks Academy show made it to top 10 in US. This is incredible, but it's just because of your support. The most important friends is that all of us, we are very passionate furry parents and together we are going to have a great time, have fun, enjoy it and grow. And every time when we press the button of our phone, we are going to create timeless memories and the legacy of our babies. So let's the show begins. Hello, dear friends. How are you doing? Welcome to today's episode. And you're probably wondering, so who are you bringing today on Vasi? Well, friends, I have a very special furry mommy. She has two really very adorable furry kids. You probably already know their Instagram, but also TikTok account. And I'm so glad that you find the time and you're here with me today, Diana. Thank you so much. Yay, you're here. Hi, thank you. Thank you so much for having us. The babies are here too. They're sleeping. <laughs> Well, they know that you and I will be talking about a lot of great information. So even in their sleep, I'm sure that they're going to be listening with one ear today. Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. I love it. How is the weather in LA? It's gorgeous. It's a sunny day, mild. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. It's pretty much, I think your weather is better there than in Florida. I love Florida, but here it's so humid, so hot. Yeah, it's dry out here. So we get good, mild and dry. I love it. I love it. So tell me a little more about your furry babies. Uh, you know, how old they are. Uh, when did you start your account? Because you have enough Instagram, you have only 47,000. Can you imagine, friends? 47,000 loyal followers who absolutely love and adore to see, to be part of the journey of your babies. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So we started. I started Instagramming in 2015 when we got Chandler. So I had another Maltese um, named Lucas and he, unfortunately, I had him for 10 years and he passed away with chronic kidney disease. And then I adopted Bradley from a rescue group. And then uh, two weeks later, we got Chandler as a puppy from a breeder in Orange County. And that's when I, I really wanted to just take puppy pictures of, of puppy Chandler <laughs> and of Bradley. And so I, that's when I started the account was in 2015. So amazing. And I'm really so sorry about your other baby, you know, I'm a true believer and it's sad, you know, they always will live forever in our hearts, in our memories. And that's why pictures comes in place and I know dear friends that every single time when you know we do pet pics podcast this always come across but just because this is the truth you know this is even why in the first place pet pics academy was created as a platform and now I do the podcast it's because memories every time you said it well when you press the button we create the memories uh, and I think this like they live for us you know in our memories but yeah. now we have our other babies, you know, I have like my, you know, um, my doggy today, by the way, I'm pet sitting my sister doggy, Gigi, she's Aww. here. I have double trouble. I don't know how you walk two babies because I, for me, it was very hard to walk two this today. Oh no, they're easy. They're easy. No, they're, no, they're simple. I do. Let, let's talk about the, the memory aspect for it because it is so important. I mean, I, all I have left is Lucas uh, are his pictures. And, and I'm going to get emotional talking about it, but for me, that was really my motivation for starting the account for Bradley and Chandler, because I wanted all of those memories, because when I was looking back to connect with Lucas and remembering him, I didn't have it all in one place. You know, it, all, it was in the iCloud and there was some in the Google cloud and there was different phones that I had had throughout the years. And there were times when, when, when Lucas and I were together, I was using my little Nokia, you know, all of, <laughs> for the elder millennials here, we used to take pictures like on a camera and then upload them. So um, yes, pictures are super, super important. It's how they stay with us forever. So 
thank you for doing what you do because it's so important. And you can see the two photos that I have of them here. Yes, <laughs> the yes, I love them. I saw them. You know, for those of you who are listening, friends, you know, Diana has two very beautiful portraits uh, yeah. with really amazing. I think that they are, to me, I see them as 16 by 24 size. 16 by 24, yeah. Oh, yeah. see, I'm good in sizes, even from yeah. further wow. away. Yes. And then I see like probably about two to two and a half, three inches, uh, very nice golden frame. Uh, and it's just like, they are such an incredible pieces. And you and I, I mean, behind me, uh, I do have the, the little chihuahua, which a lot of you friends who are listening, you have seen it in my lives and trainings and courses. So I do have like you, I have my kitty cat, Shmu, who loves this as well, but her portrait is here. I have Chiku's portrait and I have my daughter portrait. So my three kids, your yeah. four legs are with me on a daily basis and every time I walk, you know, I'm walking in the studio to start working even sometimes at 3 a.m it's like hi kids good morning mommy it's ready to work let's absolutely. create miracles <laughs> absolutely That's but I'm passionate you know like you memories 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 this is truly my motivation um you know you and I we can be emotional that's the beauty of a launching only voice not picture uh, <laughs> you know uh, and um I just tell I cannot tell you on a daily basis even with my local clients it's like they would say like sometimes they may not want too many pictures of their furry kids or maybe they will bring me one not all of them because we have you know some people have like you two or four or five I had a student with 10 uh, and I just encourage people, we take pictures for two purposes. One of them at the candidates pictures, you know, I'm sure you have a lot of them on your phone. You may not show them because they're personal, but they are when they're cute in the morning, showing out, you know, from uh, their blankie, looking at you, smiling. And then we have the other case when we say, okay, kids, picture day. Let's yep. put it in the schedule. Let's groom you, make sure you look your best, brush you, put this clothing on and let's roll it. You know, those are the two cases. Do you feel the same way? Absolutely. Absolutely. There. Are, and I share both kinds and they're both important that there's the posed kind and then there's definitely the candid kind. So yes, learning how to do both and having both are very important. I think the mm -hmm. capture both, it, it's just, it's all aspects of their life. So they, they like to pose for the pictures, they like, they know it already. They know when I'm um, getting the treats out and when I'm getting an outfit on, they get really excited, but they also just like, you know, when we're being casual and I pull the phone out and I'm talking to them, they just like being, being part of everything. So it's really fun. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. This is so cute. Friends, I really hope, you know, all the details, everything will be in the description. Make sure you come and you follow and show your support and love. I just love it. So tell me a little more about approximately how many times a week do you take pictures or videos? Because you have videos as well. Whenever the inspiration hits me. So it's, I mean, it's, it's, it could be multiple times a day. It could be once a day. It could, we could go a full day without it. It just depends on what's going on. Um, so yesterday we, I got a new type of treat for them and I wanted to film their reaction. And, and so I just grabbed my phone and gave them the treat and was like, Oh, they love it. So there was a little video yesterday. And then, um, we, you know, we went on a walk and they tried their hands-free leash on Monday and I filmed that. And it's just, it's just basically how, whatever, whenever the inspiration hits me or whenever we get something new or yeah. Or if they're really particular in particular doing something cute, like I, I will definitely have the phone. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You're a very artistic person, by the way. I, I really love it. And it sounds to me, it's like, and I've seen, I mean, I, I love your account. And it's just really awesome. You have this really like, I you know I always, I always believe that we need to think out of the box and sometimes it's hard, but if you allowed your babies, they're actually pretty good in giving you different expressions and just kind of surprising you in a great way. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And so tell me a little more about your TikTok account. Oh, TikTok. Yeah. So I'm 34 years old. So I feel a little bit like a, like a dinosaur on that app, or at least I felt that way before. Um, I was feeling a little intimidated and didn't want to, didn't want to go down that route. I was like, no, I'm doing good on Instagram. I love it. I don't need to do TikTok. Um, and then I started getting curious about it. 
um, especially when we moved to LA in October of last year. Um, and I started, I think I posted my first video in probably November of, of last year. Um, and it was a video about walking in their coyote vests at night and <laughs> the video took off. It got millions of views and we got tons of followers. And within the last couple of months, I've grown it to 43,000 followers. Um, and now I'm like, I, you know, now I'm one of those, I'm, I love TikTok. I'm on it every day. I, I, I also enjoy watching the videos, but I, I also enjoy like creating them as well. It's, it's different than Instagram. It's, it's like Instagram reels, but it's, it's, there's a little bit of an entertainment factor. Um, so I'll just string what I like to take a bunch of candid videos of them and then I'll string them together and put music behind it. And then I'll put words on it and create kind of a, a narrative like, Oh, they were, they were making fun of mom because this, or like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll voice their thoughts in like thought bubbles and it can be really funny. And I think people resonate with that. So. I love it. Yeah. Listen, uh, I'm actually so grateful that you and I, we met uh, and we are yeah. doing this podcast because yeah. you are, and I really mean it, my inspiration and mark my word friends. But after we are done recording this podcast <laughs> and by the time you listen to this podcast, I will personally challenge myself to be a little more active because Pet Picks Academy, uh, you know, uh, TikTok, uh, I mean, I go there, I post, but I'm not as active as I wish I could. But again, there is only so much you can do considering yeah. that I have, I mean, I have like three uh, Facebook groups. I have, you know, like my, in our Instagram community and I do the membership and I do a podcast. So I guess that it's only so much uh, you right. can do physically, but I'm so inspired by you and I love. So if you really hear this, uh, friends, Diana said she told you her secret, yes. the formula. Take short clips of video. Yes. Add words like what they are thinking. Yeah. May you know tell a story. This is uh, so funny because in my membership, uh, at Pix Academy membership, I was just teaching them tell a story with yes. your videos. You know, including your pictures, but videos specifically, the reels, and in fact. I mean, this is safe space. I can say that I actually kind of even prefer a little more uh, TikTok to do, you know, the videos versus the reels because the reels you can, as right now, as we speak, you can add one text uh, across the whole entire video versus right. in TikTok, you can change it. And oh, it's so much easier in TikTok. Correct. Yeah. The, video, the video editor itself is also really easy. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I love it. So I have to be very honest with you. I mean, so now I have the plan B when I'm a stinker and I go <laughs> and I go to Canva when I created some of my very unique looking, uh, you know, real uh, swipes and I just combine them. You can do that as well. But yeah, I love like this aspect. That I, and I did one of the, I did this promo video in one of my classes because every week I launch a new class, as I told you. So on my home studio class, I did my video in TikTok. Okay. It was one of the most powerful and amazing videos I ever, ever have done. Yeah. It was down to the point, short, enough information. Music was incredible. Also, if we have to compare TikTok and uh, Instagram, Instagram, when you do your reel, if you want to save the video, you can, but it's not going to allow you to save the music versus TikTok. Even if you have the sign, you know, like that, you know, the logo TikTok, you can share it to different platforms. So you can save it with the music, which I think it's very powerful because music is part of the story. It's the right. emotion behind it. It invokes the emotion. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I really do like it. I love, I love using all, all of the platforms and then cross crossing the material as well. It's, you know, re repurposing the content, if you will. Right. So you may have like a great video and then you add great audio and then you put it on the other platform. I mean, I do that all the time. So yes, what you're saying is totally correct. And I love dabbling in all of them for that, but TikTok is definitely my favorite right now. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I just really, I mean, I'm, I'm so excited and thank you, you know, so much for kind of sharing with me uh, about this and then my question and I do actually I do repurpose that's 
friends, if you have not heard this term, uh, you know, Diana also as me, we are entrepreneur, we went through special training. And so we have our terms, even if we don't yeah. use them every day, but her and how we have an understand understanding that we can use it in this conversation <laughs> today. So this is the reason why sometimes you may see an Instagram live, like even today I was doing with the brand the Instagram live, it was on their Instagram account. So I cannot uh you know, share it, like I cannot add it unless I'm the partner to mine, but I was able to get the link shared to all of my three, four or five Facebook accounts and pages and groups. So sometimes taking the link would be, you know, really a great uh, way for you to repurpose, to reuse and share the same content. So tell me about how approximately again, how many times do you post a new video uh, in TikTok? Um, that one... I know it's a tough I, question. Probably a week, um, sometimes every other week. Um, that is a little bit, it's a little bit, um, it's not like stories, right? So it's not like you can just grab your phone and just upload that there's a little bit of editing work. And then, you know, you, you got to create the the story or whatever. And it's this put the entertainment values sort of on it. Um, so it takes a little bit longer. So that one's not like a daily thing. I would say weekly to, you know, every other week. But when I first jumped on the platform, there was a lot of playing around with it and reading, you know, figuring out what you're doing. And then afterward, now it's, it's a lot easier. I can do them faster. I love it. Oh my God. I love it. And I do agree. I feel the same way. Like when I photograph one of, you know, uh, of my people, Delilah, and so when I do the videos, it always takes me a few days to create the reel. And people are like, gratefully, no one asked me this question, but I will tell you, friends, if you're wondering why, it's because I have to go edit, basic edit each video, very basic, create a couple of swipes. Then after I make sure everything flows correctly, showcase the product, uh, then I need to pick the right music. So itself, you see in a reel, uh, but if you want, or like a TikTok video, but if you want to bring it to the next stage to the next level it's not just a real it's not just a video it's something you are so into it that yeah. you want to press the button and watch it again and again and again yeah. and share it that's the excitement we have the power to do it but good things they take time of course of course and it is really fun i mean i do it all for fun you know bradley and chandler's account is just for fun all of their accounts so it. It, it doesn't seem time consuming to me. It doesn't seem like a drag. It's always just really fun. I, I, I have, it, I enjoy it immensely and I watch my stuff all the time. Like I rewatch videos all the time because, I, or I communicate with people uh, like, you know, I'll text my mom like, oh, this is, this reminds me of this video. <laughs> like, so. I love it. I do also rewatch a lot of my stuff too. You know, I listen to every podcast. Even if I have been part of it, our podcast, when we launch it, I will listen to it as well because it's very interesting. And I hope friends, you DM us and tell us or, you know, leave a comment if you feel the same way. It's so interesting to be, to see it uh, outside, to yes. see how your voice sounded, to see, uh, you know, if you did the video right, if you told the story you originally had in mind, right. to see your followers, if they're accepting and, and reading the message you want them to read right. it's so much involved. We don't even sometimes think about it. <laughs> no, but it's so much funny because when you list out that much work, it's, it really just doesn't feel that way. You know, it just comes naturally. So it's, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. And so I also know that, so 47,000 in Instagram, yeah. 43,000 in TikTok. And I know that after you have been doing this since 2015, 16, now you're ready for a new chapter in your life. Oh, yes. <laughs> so I, yeah, I started, it was funny. I graduated from college in 2017 with a degree in electrical engineering and women's studies. And I was going to just work at an engineering company. I had interned at a company and didn't really know. And then I got a, a client, a, a potential employer called me and said, I saw you on Instagram and we're like a local company. We're a, a local um, cosmetic company and we would like you to work for us. And I ended up, you know, doing marketing for them just basically off of my hobby. So I got started 
you know, informally in marketing then and went to a lot of training courses. I was employee. So I got to, you know, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about SEO and running a full marketing department there was really successful. I made them a lot of money <laughs> and then I moved. Yeah. And that's, I think that's what sort of launched my marketing career was this hobby of mine. It just happened. It just worked out that way. And then I turned that into, um, I went to go work for a real estate company that had over 40 agents. It was one of the largest teams in Southern California. Wow. They're very successful. They do probably 500 homes a year. Um, yeah, it was a lot. And so I took over their marketing department and, um, grew their team for about three years. And it's, been the most amazing fun of my life. <laughs> and then um, record. it was funny because at that office, at that real estate office is where I I filmed one of their most in watched views in, in the world um, was the video with their panda costumes with the dogs. Cause I used to bring my dogs to work so um, before the shutdown, right? In 2019, they were wearing their panda costumes. And I remember in the real estate office, just shooting the video, it was 15 seconds. And then I posted it and it took a, a couple months later, all of a sudden it was all over the internet and Wolf Wolf picked it up. It got 98 million views. Um, That's one amazing. Of my, yeah, one wow. of my followers in uh, Melbourne, Australia told me that it was on the news. It was so funny. It was just, it was everywhere. Yeah. So it was at that real estate office where I took the video, but now I am, uh, doing coaching for realtors, teaching them how to do marketing. So one of, and one of the things I teach them is TikTok. <laughs> and I love it because I know that you're very successful and very, effective coach because you know myself like when I teach people to take pictures that's my favorite part and some of the listeners you went through my training and one-on-one -on -one coaching and I know you're the same way because you and I we have the same values it's like get things done you yeah. know like very you know it's intense it's yes. and but it's very like if you really follow what we recommend you you really it's jump to the next level and honestly friends today it's hobby creating memories, but I'm so inspired by you because you never know tomorrow. And I can tell you, even for myself, I don't advertise it, but I get reached to so many pet business company because of what I do. And they're like, Vasi, can you help us with this? Can right. you help us with this? Can you create this class? I'm like, Opportunities are endless. It's so crazy how that, it's just, a, it's a hobby and it's fun and it's for memories and it can turn into a whole business and a, and a successful one. Yeah. Yeah. And what I love about it is that everything started with the passion of your babies, <laughs> sharing them to the world, how amazing and excited. But then now you are not only coaching people, it's so much bigger. You're helping these people, these individuals who are helping their clients in real estate. If you think of it and every, let's say, if every agent touch 50 uh, there are typically a few thousand followers they have. This people's life. Can you imagine the big picture? Yeah. How incredible that each of us, we have a purpose. We start from somewhere and we are so passionate. We love it. And then we just bring it to the next level. And that's the beauty of life. You know? It's so, yeah, it's so amazing. I was just talking to one of my dear friends who's a real estate agent in San Diego his name is Jesse Klein. And he was telling me that he uses his platform, his social media platform to educate a historically underserved community about the power of real estate investing so that they can change their financial profiles because I'm, and I'm a minority. We were never taught how to grow our money. We were basically, you know, I've, I've been in debt my whole life. My parents were in debt. They didn't, they didn't buy their own home. And so that kind of when I, so I empower agents to use social media to educate other people. And eventually they'll work with them as clients and they, they end up changing their lives. So they, you know, adding a port, adding a home, home ownership to your portfolio can truly change your life. It's one of the few vehicles that we have left to actually grow our wealth. So we're I basically changing like the, you know, the, the trajectory of their life, really, when you think about it. So I'm, I'm really happy about it, being able to use social media in that way, in the, in a good, good way. Like, 
much more than just pets and much more. It's just, it's, it's actually impacting people in a positive way. I just love it. This is so cool, by the way. This is so incredible by this gentleman. Because me, friends, you don't know, but I do also a lot of business projects. My sister, it's a wonderful and very well-known real estate in South Florida, Monica Phillips. And so I communicate with them. I'm part of their growth uh, and et cetera. And what you do, it's like teach them educate them and help them because I believe that it doesn't matter. I, are you a realtor? Are you in the pet business? Each of us, the problem is even if you're the best, uh, you know, uh, SEO, right. the best CEO of your brand, you still have to work, but you not only, and it's not work, but you still have to think about tomorrow, but sometimes you're so busy that you forget to think about five years from now and that that's is. where an incredible coach like you and I would encourage you if any of you dear listeners you are in the real estate business and you may feel stuck even if the market is going up but there will be tomorrow when the market will go down uh, and hopefully it's not going to be any sooner but it may happen and that's so I have seen the power through my sister which was like four or five years ago even longer that having a coach a mentor, yes. however you call it, it's still the same, but the person who would help you to see the next step and, and inspire and give you the steps to do something nobody else does, or there are not too many people in your area do, it's extremely powerful. And that's why I'm so excited for everyone who it's your student. I mean, you call them, you know, you coach them one-on-one. -on -one. I call them students, still the same story. You're our friends, 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 and we're friends. here to help you <laughs> grow. <laughs> Absolutely. I, love I think it. it's so important to, I, when we were start, when I was starting this out, I didn't have a coach, right? I didn't know how to take pictures of my dogs. And if you scroll down to the beginning, the, the quality is just, it's so different. Right. And so I, you watched me fumble through for years and years and years on how to figure it out and how to get it right. But, you know, now knowing what I know now and being in marketing, when there's, when there's something that I'm trying to achieve, I will, I will go to that person's masterclass. I will find the person that's doing it that already learned how to do it. And then I'll learn from them. And then I move on because you know, I conquer that. And then I move on. It's so much faster than trying and overwhelming yourself and like trying to figure it out. It's just it's so much easier just hear from somebody who's doing it and did, did it well and has, has hopefully a class <laughs> that you can just like pay for and do it. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. <laughs> yeah, I do agree. That's the new way of learning because yeah. it's, it's like, I never will forget when I was going to this uh, photography, uh, you know, schools, like four days, intensive classes and what they were teaching us was more than kids in college, photography college were learning for two years. So it's very powerful. And I, you know, I'm a true believer, simplifies, get it done find a teacher it may not be me it may not be you or maybe somebody else you really need to enjoy the person teaching style yes. uh, and you know as an educator and you as a coach I mean I tell people pet picks classes are not for everyone I teach a lot but that's why people go back and listen to the replays and they may go I encourage people go back six months later because I teach in a very deep level so when you master it then you go you know, then you go to the next level, even in the same course. So, yes. so you may not get, that's the thing is they may not, they may not, they may hear all the concepts, but they don't know what those mean until they've been doing it for a little while. And then they go back and re and then re watch it or re listen. And it's like, Oh yeah. And you put it all together. I love doing that as well. I, every time I listen to like a master you know, marketing some things, I really do try to go back and rewatch and I do learn new things. It can be on anything I do. That's true for everything. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm very excited, you know, because this is the truth. And just before we are done, uh, can you just tell me a couple of things? So when you take your pictures, uh, you know, do you use your phone? What phone do you have? Do you use any light? Do you use natural light? Yeah. So I only use an iPhone eight. I don't even have the oh newest. IPhone. I just have an iPhone eight. Um, like I said, I used to have a really like a, the, just the cyber shoots, the Sony cyber shoots. And then I finally got a, a Sony like really nice camera. 
but I never use it. It's in the closet at my, at the house in La Jolla. And I, I don't, it's not even charged. Like I just use my phone. The lighting is the biggest thing it, you can use your phone as long as you have good lighting. So, I mean, our house has really good lighting. Our La Jolla house now finally has good lighting, but if you don't have good lighting, what I used to do is just buy the Amazon pot lights. And then I would just take them out of the closet and, you know, I'm sure you, ha I'm sure you've recommendations for your followers and then just make sure the lights are pointing in the right spot and it'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, yes. Uh, I do have a special list. Uh, when you go to my link tree, Pet Peaks Academy on Instagram or go to Pet Peaks Academy website, I have recommendation, everything from Amazon. It's very affordable. I call it the equipment on a budget <laughs> because, yeah. you know, I, I listen, my photography friends don't like me, even I'm on the board of my local photography guild for over six years, because okay. since 2019, I actually kept telling them, you don't need to spend, because our photography lights cost from two, four, six, seven hundred dollars each. Oh my God. Yeah. And I'm like, nope, I go and buy a set of two for like $70 from Amazon. My That's most exactly expensive ones are like 180 for two of them, but they're incredible. And that's how I do it. I mix, I use mixed lighting just because of the dogs moving and my studio is very dark, but everything what I recommend, I use it. I brought it with me to South Carolina. Now when I'm going to do other stuff, business portrait, I always bring my lights and it's so easy. Absolutely, absolutely. And I, you know what else I have? I have a, um, a phone case that has oh. lights on it too. This yes. is a fantastic idea. I'm going to add this to the list. This is so when you're doing like your short form videos, you know, of the dogs, um, it's called the Lumi case and I don't work for them, but I, you know, I saw a little, and you, I think you can just get it from their website. I have the, yeah, I love it. Cause it's just, you have to charge the case of course, and then, yeah. you know, you have to charge your phone, but yeah, I really do having like the lights will make the hugest difference. Like, yeah. So. I do agree. Well, thank you so much. Uh, and one thing for one tip for everyone, you heard me repeating it, make sure you wipe the camera of your phone. Yes. This is very important. Never will you forget the story. Last year we, I was doing one, before COVID happened, I was doing uh, teaching and one lady, her pictures didn't look at, at all like the rest of the participants. And it was easy. I cleaned her Fun. camera. And yeah. everything like she was like, oh my God, look at my phone. What type of picture it's taken? I'm like, yep. Now you know what it is. Wipe it. Because yep. especially now in summer, I mean, we get some of us a little sweaty, especially if you live in South Florida, everywhere oh, yeah. around the world. So yeah. makeup also, if some of us, you were a foundation or other makeup powder, you know, oh. skin has a little oil as well. So you never know. So make sure yeah. you wipe I've it. always got white from my sunscreen just plastered all over. And I just carry um, the pro the professional like little one from Amazon yeah. that I have. It's not a cloth, it's like the, you know, the actual screen cleanser. Yes. Like, yeah, I love the, it. Lens, the lens cleaner, it's like a pen. That's yeah. what I do, yeah. That's yeah. fantastic, Thanks. I love it, I love it. So can you tell people uh, before we are done where they can find you, please, please. Oh, okay. So um, Instagram is Bradley underscore and underscore Chandler. And then that's also the same on TikTok, Bradley underscore and Chandler. And if you're a real estate agent, um, the Instagram is SOI Accelerator. Uh, SOI stands for sphere of influence. So I'm, you know, I'm a coach for accelerating their sphere of influence. And I love the name of that. And again, friends, uh, all the links and information is going to be in the description in the podcast. It doesn't matter if you're listening to the podcast in petpixacademy.com slash podcast or iTunes or Spotify, it's going to be there. And I would just say, show your support. I mean, you can see that together we can make a difference in people's life in memories we can our as ourselves we can uh, make our dream come true and create in a very good way impact in people's lives so let's just make things magical oh thank you so much thank you so much for having me here i'm so glad that we met you're my new best friend i'm going to call yes. you every week and see how everything's going thank you so i love much. it i love it and this is the beauty of it friends 
you never know who you're going to meet. And I can tell you today, this is my podcast number four I'm recording and it's okay. I can be very honest with you. And it's amazing because people meet in social media, they yes. become friends. Yes. And you and I, we will be talking every week and I'm so excited about your future. I'm so excited about, you know, being like, it's so rare when you can find a person with the same values like you and you agree with me and that's where yeah. and women helping women too i mean there's so we there's so many challenges out there millennials are we're, we're overworked we're underpaid yes. we've got no savings i've got student loan debt like there's everything that we can do to just help each other out is that's what we need <laughs> exactly i love it i cannot say it any better and just sometimes friends the answer is so simple it's just share dm share yeah. it doesn't take you more than 10 seconds yeah but you know that with this link that when you press share you are changing in a great way people's life and that's mm -hmm. how powerful it is and this is the power each of your friends you have with the great benefit that you can give a hug to your furry baby and babies take some beautiful pictures and share it with the world so thank you so much friends for listening to the episode this is Vasi from Pet Picks Academy and I'm so excited and really happy for each of you because I believe in you I know we can make a difference and let's do it together so thank you friends and see you soon Thank you so much for listening to the episode. I hope you got inspired and you learned some new tips and tricks. Please show us your support. Leave us a review. Share with your friends about us and also about our awesome speaker. You can find all the links and information below in the description of the podcast episode. We have new podcast episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Come and join us in our social media platforms under Pet Picks Academy. We have a free training every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern time in our Instagram. And also we have Twitter 3 p.m. Eastern time in our Facebook group. If you'd like to learn more about our upcoming courses or membership, check our website, Pet Picks Academy. And the truth is that we have a lot of resources. So please enjoy it. They're very helpful. So thank you very much for your support, friends. Uh, you mean the world to me and the rest of the community. And let's together have fun, create amazing memories, and just enjoy it. Thank you. Have a great day and see you in our next episode. This is Vasi, your host and founder of Pet Picks Academy. Academy.